Hello and welcome. This is episode five of the PI Department of Education's Arduino Starter Kit. Uh, today we are going to learn how to use a button. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is take a look at our Arduino and we're going to connect our Arduino up to our breadboard. So we're going to go ahead and take our power and hook it up to the positive part of the breadboard. That makes that whole plus line is now going to be power. Do the same thing with the ground. So we'll connect it to GND on the breadboard, GND, and we're going to hook that up to the minus side, doesn't matter where, anywhere on that line. So now we have power and we have uh, the ground set up. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up to digital pin 2. And we'll tell you why. But we're going to bring that over to the board and connect it, let's say, here. Oh, here. And we'll show you why that is in a second. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take this button, we're going to attach it on either side of the breadboard. We're going to line up that pin, the little metal prong on the bottom with the yellow pin, and put it on either side. So now we have pins hooked up on this side and pins hooked up on this side. So you just line them up with the little clips on the bottom. Uh, take a look at the diagram included that shows you exactly how to do this. Can it be a little finicky? We're going to take this one here on this side. We're going to pull it over here, connect it up to ground. So now that's going to be our ground side. Hook it up to ground, same way. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to connect up the other side to power. So take this one. You'll notice I'm using a yellow instead of a red. Red's probably more normal, but it doesn't matter what color you use, they all work. So now that is connected up. So we have the power coming in from the breadboard into our plus, going over onto that pin. We have number two on the digital board coming over onto this side. We have our resistor pulling down from the button over to ground. The ground comes over to the line and then it comes back into the Arduino to complete our circuit all the way around. If we take a look at the code, this is the button code. It is under File, Examples, Digital, Button. So go ahead and click that and you'll come here. We have our introductory code at the start. Here at the top, we have const int button pin equals two. So what we have here are variables. So now button pin means the number two, and LED pin means the number 13. And we know that pin 13 from one of our earlier episodes Pin 13 is the light that's on the Arduino itself. This says variables will change into button state zero. So that means the state of the button is off to start. You can take a look through this code later and you will get inside and change it later. But for now, we're just gonna upload it to the board and we're gonna see what happens. So our button pin, our button is attached to number two. We did that work earlier. And LED pin is 13. So when we click on the button, it should turn on the light on the board. Let's see how it works. Whoa, we have made a button work. So what I would like you to do now is go ahead, take a look at episode four, and see if you can make it turn the light on when that light is attached to the board. And you see these little guys here? Notice that some people don't know what these are. These are just the caps to the button. When you put them on top of the button, just make your button cool. See? Awesome, good job.